Hey everybody, how's it going? I know we're in the middle of this pandemic with coronavirus, but a lot of you are freaking out about not being able to go out to eat, not being able to get your favorite food. Well, let me show you how easy cooking from home can be, seriously. You like um, Panera bread or Olive Garden, their broccoli cheddar soup? Let me show you how easy that's gonna be. So we're gonna have some carrots, some broccoli, some celery, some onion, some garlic, some cream, and then I've got some chicken broth. What's this lemon? Oh, hold on, okay. Yeah, what's this lemon for? Well, this is for me. Because I'm on Wild Turkey 101, baby. Yeah, you know we gotta, we gotta definitely have a nice drink while we're cooking, don't we? All right, I know a lot of drinking's going on right now. All right, let me get a sip and I'll be right back. All right, the star of this party is broccoli. This is garden fresh broccoli that I actually froze. Looks a little different than your broccoli, but I'm not even gonna cut it up. I'll show you why in just a minute. Start with your onion, okay? If you don't know how to slice an onion, it doesn't take much. Just get the peel off. And you want a nice sharp knife. You don't have to go fast like you see on TV. I like to just Hold it together like that, and then give it a little cross cut like this. Then I got one stalk of celery. If you don't have celery, that's fine. Now the reason that I'm not really cutting this up very finely is because after it softens, I'm just going to macerate it with a little blender. Carrots, I don't even peel the carrots. You don't need to peel carrots. It's good fiber, and you know, you can use baby carrots, but real carrots, have more flavor, they're less expensive per pound. I have five pound bags of carrots in my house at all times. All right, let's get this over to the stove. For those foodies among you, this is what is called mirepoix. Now you wanna saute that mirepoix in some type of fat. This happens to be bacon grease, but you could use butter, you could use olive oil, you could use vegetable oil, I mean, you could use bare fat, it doesn't matter. Just something to saute these vegetables in. Oh, hi. While those veggies are softening, you can call it saute, I'm gonna show you how to get the base of the soup together. Now, I have chicken broth. This is from a chicken I grew in killed and slow cooked all night, but you can use regular chicken broth. And to thicken it, we're gonna use some flour, just some all-purpose flour. You'll notice one thing, I don't use recipes, okay? Now it's key to mix in the flour, or if you want to use cornstarch, into it while it's cold, because that will basically, you know, suspend the flour without it clumping. That's the key so you don't get clumps. And we're just gonna whisk this together. Now when it heats up, all those flour molecules are gonna expand, make it nice and thick, and gelatinous. So here is our base. All right, just like not having a recipe that has measurements, I also don't have time, but if you look, the carrots are tender. And so now we add our flour and chicken stock mixture. Make sure you get all the good stuff off the bottom. And like I said, we're gonna bring this back to a boil and that will start to thicken. Now, what we're also going to do at this time is start with our seasoning. As far as seasoning, uh, for this amount, maybe uh, two tablespoons of salt, something like that. Um, we're gonna go with some garlic. Let me get a spoon here. Okay, normally I would like to use real garlic. This is the second best thing. Uh, garlic is actually the base, really the flavor base of soups. So you cannot have too much garlic, honestly. All right, we're gonna do a bunch of crushed black pepper. And fresh crushed really does make a difference. All of those volatile compounds evaporate in storage if you get pre-ground, okay? And then we gotta add some cream. Gotta make it creamy. And you can do as much or as little as you would like. This is heavy whipping cream. You know what? This isn't a low calorie soup. If you think soup is low calorie, look at, look at this. You remember this from grade school? Trying to freaking open up the milk. All right, yeah. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do about that much. 
right. Now, my little special twist, caraway seed. Yes, the same stuff that's pumpernickel and rye, I think will balance well with the carrots. And lately, I've been just doing turmeric powder in everything. I know, that's a lot of turmeric. But anti-inflammatory, it's good for you. All right, this is smoked paprika. Yeah, a big healthy dose of that. And again, we're gonna bring this to a boil. Stir it together, oh my God. Oh, it already smells so good. Oh, I could just lick it right now. I'm gonna add the broccoli to it this time. You see how rough this broccoli is? And I got some stems in there. I mean, really? Um, that's where the flavor is in all the imperfections. Stir that together. All right, you want this at a rolling boil, stirring constantly for at least one minute. And now we want to blend that up. You could let this cool down and stick it in your blender. You save it in a food processor. But what I've got is an immersion blender. Immersion blender. Final step, add the cheese of your choice. I've got some shredded mild cheddar. However much cheese you want. Broccoli and cheddar soup. And stir that together, the residual heat will melt it. It's ready for serving. I like it chunky. If you don't like it chunky, just keep obliterating it until it's smooth as baby food. So seriously, y'all, this whole thing took less than 30 minutes, I guarantee you, and a lot of the ingredients were frozen or otherwise not even close to room temperature. Let's give it a taste. Mm. I'm telling you, that's as good as Olive Garden. I'm telling you, it's better than... A oh my God. Cheers. Try this out. Let me know what you think.